welcome and in this video I will be giving you an introduction to my latest film photography book Volcanic Aotearoa and I will be telling you about the crowdfunding campaign I will be running to raise the funds to manufacture this book and deliver the books to New Zealand. And this project's been in the making since 2019 so I'm super excited to see it finally come together into a book that I can share with you. So what's this Volcanic Aotearoa project all about? Volcanic activity is known for its destructive effects on the landscape and people. Volcanic Aotearoa is a photography project that captures the beauty, colours and organic shapes of New Zealand's volcanic landscape. It is a collection of photos that encapsulates a three-year study of New Zealand's volcanic and geothermal national parks, conservation areas and one World Heritage Site. The Volcanic Aotearoa collection of images has always intended to shine a light on the power and beauty of New Zealand's volcanic landscape. The volcanic activity has been part of the culture in Aotearoa since its early settlers and it continues today. The book is not only a dedication to volcanic New Zealand but it is also a dedication to film photography. It is a beautifully handcrafted 285 mm case bound hardcover book with over 100 pages of photos. It includes geonic information about the volcanoes and it also includes some of the Maori legend stories around these beautiful volcanoes. My good friend Bruce Percy and fellow film photographer was kind enough to write the foreword for this book and he titled it Adventures in Abstraction and Analog Volcanoes which I thought was perfect. I'll just give you a short summary of Bruce's foreword just to get a flavour of what this book is about. Bruce said, if I were to say the word volcano to you, I am confident that you would instantly see a cone shape in your mind's eye. The shape of any volcano is instantly recognisable to all of us. They have one of the most iconic shapes of our world. In Stephen's images, he has settled upon using this iconic shape to unify his imagery. He understands that using form in this way can strengthen the work. For when we break down any image at all, they are constructed of the same basic building blocks of form and tone. Regardless of what we think we see, all photographs are representations made of these parts. And you know, I was really happy to read Bruce's forward when he sent it to me. There's more to it in the book. That's just a bit of a snippet. I think you're going to like it. So how did the Volcanic Aotearoa project fall into place and why am I passionate about it? Our beautiful Aotearoa is the land of the long white cloud. Aotearoa is New Zealand. It is the Maori name for the North Island and is now the adopted name for the whole country. Aotearoa means long white cloud. The cloud formations from the volcanic activity in New Zealand were used to navigate to land by early Maori settlers in the 14th century. Volcanic activity has been a part of the culture of Aotearoa since its early settlers and it continues today. Volcanic activity is known worldwide for its destructive effects on the landscape and people. However, in Aotearoa, it is part of life. Volcanic activity is part of Maori legends of love and war and how the land country was formed. The geothermal effect of volcanic activity is used as heating sources in their villages and is used for cooking and bathing. These benefits became a tourism industry that started in the 1800s and still exists today. When I arrived in Aotearoa in 2014 for the first time, I feared its volcanic activity because I did not understand it. However, this soon became a passion after I completed the Tonga River Alpine crossing for the first time in 2015. In 2018, I started visiting the area more often to photograph it. My fascination expanded to other volcanic locations and geothermal parks, and it became a project that I dedicated myself to. The explosion of White Island in 2019 reminded everyone of the powerful destructive capabilities of volcanic activity. Whilst my fears of volcanic activity were realised in the events of 2019, when I visit Aotearoa's volcanic landscape, I feel alive and connected to them somehow. I really enjoy exploring wide open landscapes 
and connecting elements in the landscape with my photography. These locations are remarkable in many ways. I feel compelled to capture them in different ways to create a body of work with a cohesive feel that tells a story, a story of their beauty and why they are important to New Zealand. In 2019, I decided to start using medium format analog film for this project. All the photos in this book have been taken with film using three different cameras, the Mamiya 7, the Hasselblad 503CW and the Mamiya 6. All the photos in my book were developed by PCL Imaging in Auckland and I digitalized them myself using a flatbed scanner. And all the photos in my book are labeled with a film type that I used. Film photography requires patience and perseverance to create compelling imagery. I have learned to appreciate the value of a single photo. It has taught me things that modern day digital cameras automate. I am grateful that film still exists for its teaching. So I just quickly want to go over the book specification. I've worked closely with three manufacturers to develop a book specification that is high quality, is suitable for book collectors and is affordable. The size is 285 square, uh, 285 millimeters. There are 100 pages. And the photos are labeled with the locations and the film stock used. The pages are made from 200 GSM matte coated paper. To print the pages, we're using CMYK offset press printing, so traditional printing. The cover is 2.5 millimeters hardback with coated matte paper. And on the front there, we've got a beautiful image and the whole cover of the book is encapsulated with an anti-scratch lamination. And the word in here and stuff is hot laminated, silver stamped. So it is a high quality book. So I just want to take a moment to acknowledge the people that have helped me made this book. This book has been made possible by the following amazing people. PCL Imaging in Auckland for developing all the film in this book. Film photographer and designer Tizian Trisipoli from Ion Films for designing this book. Thank you, Tizian. Uh, film photographer and tutor Bruce Percy for his teachings and the foreword for my book. Thank you, Bruce. And the manufacturer, well, that's to be confirmed, but like I've said, I've been working with three manufacturers and I've actually had a number of samples made. I wanted to see the quality of the book before I was comfortable offering it to you. And I basically paid the three manufacturers to uh, make samples of my book and send them to me so that I could see them. And that was definitely a worthwhile process because there's been some learnings that we've um, included into the final specification of the book. For example, the anti-scratchy coating for the cover. And there were initially two designs. There was going to be a limited book and an unlimited book, but I decided that this cover was far better, far more eye-pleasing than this one. I, I mean, I do like the linen covered book, but it, this one was really expensive. I felt like this book would be more welcomed by you. And here's another one, linen covered book. They've all been printed on different sorts of paper. It's well worthwhile process for me to do this. And here was another one that I had made with different paper. So yeah, I wanted to offer you a high quality book and the only way that I could guarantee that was by having these samples made. And once again, thank you to all the amazing people that have worked with me to create this book so far. It really means a lot. So I've chosen Kickstarter to be my crowdfunding platform because it provides the perfect platform for self-publishing my book. My book will be of a high quality standard that would not be possible at this price point through a publisher. To ensure you receive the highest quality book at an affordable price, my funding goal must be achieved. And the funding goal is 13,000 New Zealand dollars. Kickstarter will help me engage with my community during the marketing of the campaign, and it will provide a safe environment for pledges to be made for books without the risk of losing your money. The funding goal must be achieved for the campaign to be successful. If the funding goal is not achieved, my pledges will be refunded. My Kickstarter campaign will launch on the 13th of August, which is today. I'm really excited for it to be launching right now and it will run for 30 days. So please help me launch my career as a New Zealand photographer by buying my book on Kickstarter. The price for the book is 55 New Zealand dollars. And if you wanna buy two books, it's 99 New Zealand dollars, uh, plus shipping to anywhere in the world. There are also options for signed copies, or there's also an option for your name to be included in the book at the back as a, as a sponsor, 
or a contributor and worldwide shipping and that will start in December. So please, there is a link in the description section of this video. Please go over to Kickstarter, make your pledge, buy a book. Please help me. I will be eternally grateful. Thank you very much.